Tell me how I sat down to do my makeup for this video. I said we're doing something simple. Here we are two hours later. What happened? <laughs> hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel as always. I really, really appreciate it. <laughs> if this is your first time here, welcome to my channel. My name is Jenny and I am so excited that you are here. I hope you decide to stick around. And if this is not your first time, yay! For some reason, you decided to come back and that makes my heart so happy. You have no idea. All right, so I feel like at this point, everybody knows what the Denman brush is. This is the Denman brush and I would show you the back, the name of it, but I've had this for so long and I use it so much that I mean, it's pretty beat up. So the Denman brush is a brush that is very, 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 very popular in the natural curly hair community because it's a brush that claims to help with definition. It fights frizz. I mean, it gives us curly girls everything our little hearts desire. <laughs> now, I have been using the Denman brush for like about three, no. The last time I purchased it was like three years ago, but I've been using the Denman brush for, I don't know, I think it's like four or five years, something like that. But it is something that I heard of from a friend. I decided to purchase it. I used it one time, noticed a big difference. And ever since then, I have stuck to it. And I pretty much always, always style my hair with the Denman brush. Now, I do not detangle my hair with the Denman brush, and quite honestly, I do not recommend that you do that. I don't know what it is about the Denman brush, but it's not good for detangling, but it's awesome for styling. So I actually, I had a conversation with a cousin of mine a couple of days ago, and she mentioned that she used the Denman brush and it went like horribly wrong for her, and I was like, shuck it. I was like, Ugh what do you mean like this is amazing this is everything and then I thought about it I was like hmm I've never really like done a comparison so I was like light bulb so for today's video I am going to be styling half of my hair using the Denman brush and then the other half without and we are going to battle out the two sides to see who wins when it comes to more definition so I'm going to tell myself like, okay, Jenny, this isn't about which side. Well, listen, which side looks better matters, but it's more about which side is going to have more definition. I love definition, but I also, I'm obsessed with volume. So sometimes I like compromise definition for volume and whatever. That's just preference. That's just what I like. But for today's video, I want to test out the Denman brush to see if for my hair, because granted, we're all different. If for my hair, the Denman brush really is in fact helping with my definition and also with frizz. So I am very excited. My hair right now is fucking wet and I literally have a towel underneath me because it's like been dripping on me and that grosses me out. Ugh, I hate that feeling. <laughs> okay, so I think that's pretty much it. Without further ado, let's go ahead and jump straight into the video. Alrighty, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to wet my hair because while filming it dried up a bit. So although it still feel like it's dripping all over me, I feel like my hair needs to be a lot more wet. Alright, so normally I do not part my hair down the middle, but since today's video is a side-by-side -side comparison, I'm going to go ahead and split my hair right down the middle. That's totally not the middle. <laughs> You know something, I think I'm going to add the products to my hair first and then split it down the middle because, because that's just what I wanna do. <laughs> Honestly, the other way just wasn't feeling right. I'm not used to parting my hair down the middle to style it while I add the products. And so it just wasn't feeling right. 
Okay, so I'm going to style it as far as like the products that I use. Both sides are going to be exactly the same. I'll go ahead and I will add in the description box below like everything that I use in case you guys want to go ahead and check it out. These skies of a different light, why noise it keeps me up at night? I can't help but think back to you. I wish that I could find a face that I would recognize. I replay the memory of you. It's been hard, you know I wanted to stay close of God. But there was no other way to do it. Cause I've been counting the days and I'm calling up to say, I'm coming home to you. I'm coming home to you. Ooh, ooh. I'm coming home to you. Alrighty, so I am feeling pretty good about the amount of product that I have. So now I'm gonna go ahead and split it down the middle. Okay, so first, I guess I gotta decide like which side is which. So I think I'm gonna do this side, no Denman brush, this side, Denman brush. What do you guys think? <laughs> normally when I style my hair, there's like a lot of things that I would normally do at this point. I would scrunch up my curls with a cotton t-shirt, I would run the Denman brush through them, a lot of things, but we're not going to. And add a little bit more product there. My baby hairs are coming in strong. Okay, so I'm just gonna scrunch up. And that's it. I'm gonna leave that side just like that. And now this side, I'm going to brush it with my Denman brush and scrunch. Gonna add a little bit more product here. Same thing I did on the other side because these baby hairs are coming in so strong. That's from my postpartum hair loss and I don't wanna talk about it. <laughs> long my hair is getting, huh? Doesn't even fit on the screen. I don't have a lot of hair, which is why I'm not parting it like an even more perfect sort of sections because quite honestly i feel like my entire head fits like in one scoop <laughs> Alrighty guys, so here's where we're at. I definitely see a big difference. These curls look a lot thinner, a lot more separated. These look a lot chunkier. They even look like much more hydrated. Oh yeah, that's a big difference. It's so surprising to me because since I've never done like a side-by-side -side comparison, I'm just used to like what my hair looks like when I style it. You know what I mean? <laughs> okay, alrighty. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to diffuse it. Yeah, I feel pretty ready. I feel pretty confident. Let's go. All right, so for today's diffuser and hair dryer, I'm going to be using the Diva dryer also with the Diva curl diffuser. <laughs> Okay, so I know I just started diffusing, but I wanted to show you guys 
how my hair is clumping up on this side it wasn't like this a couple of minutes ago but just with like the movement of getting the hair dry or moving around all the curls are clumping up even more whereas this side is still very much so separated so very interesting <laughs> so what i think i'm gonna do is i'm just going to diffuse one side and then diffuse the other side so i'm gonna do the side without the denim brush first and then the denim brush side Alrighty guys, so this is where I'm at right now. This side is pretty much 100% dry already. This is just diffused. Like I haven't done absolutely anything else. Like I haven't styled it in any way. Usually at this point I would pick it for volume. I would go back and touch up like any frizzy curls, but this is with it just diffused and this is where we're at right now. And I mean, I gotta be really honest with you. I feel like it looks really pretty. I mean, it's not, perfect there's a couple of like little frizzies here and there but not a big deal at least not to me i think the curls look good they look healthy i could tell that i can get a lot of volume out of this so that makes me really really excited but yeah i feel like it took me forever and i still got a whole other side so let's go ahead and get started on this because i'm tired <laughs> And I mean, I gotta say that I'm pretty shocked that I feel like there's a pretty big difference. So I definitely see more definition on the side with the Demon brush. If you could see like the bottom here, there's these curls. Even this curl right here, I'm so impressed by that curl because my hair ever since i went blonder the areas where i'm growing my baby hairs in the front it's been a lot more dry and this definition right here is absolutely amazing i feel like this side even looks shinier and less frizzy than this side however i do notice that there is a lot less volume on the side of the denman brush which i kind of figured because usually like i said definition and volume don't always you know like they're not always best friends so if you get more definition sometimes you have to compromise a little volume and vice versa so i feel like i definitely see a difference in the volume right here the curls are a lot more flat on this side i feel like the curls are a little bit like fluffier starting over here however i mean look at this chunky cute curl i mean i can't get over it Right here, the curls are just much smaller, much thinner. And right here, I definitely feel like they look much more defined. Not just much more defined because, I mean, right now my hair is really long. So the weight of my hair is pulling on my curls. So right now, I don't have as much definition as I normally have when my hair was shorter. But I feel like I see a difference in the frizz. I feel like these curls look a little bit more moisturized they look a little bit less thirsty 
than this side so i don't know what do you guys think Blue? Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna finish styling my hair like off of camera because I want to come back and look cute for the goodbye part of the video. So I will be right back. Alrighty, so this is pretty much it after I continued to style it. I just all I did was I added a little bit of hairspray and I picked it out. Oh guys. And I feel like you could still, I tried to like even it out as much as I could, but I feel like you could still see the difference. You could see there is a difference in the volume. This one, which is the Denman brush side, the volume sort of, it's like more rounded volume, but it's more tamed. Whereas this one, I feel like the volume starts much higher up but i definitely feel like the curls on the denman brush side have a really really pretty shine to them they look less frizzy and it has a lot more definition especially at the bottom so i feel like now i'm going to continue to use my denman brush but i feel like i'm going to use it with like more confidence now because like i damn well know that it makes a difference <laughs> What do you guys think? Which side do you prefer? Can you even tell the difference? I mean, yes, you can. Come on. Open your eyes. <laughs> Which side do you guys like best? And what do you guys prefer? Do you guys like using a Denman brush? Do you prefer not to? Do you like more volume? Do you like the definition that the Denman brush gives you? What do you guys think? Let me know in the comment section below. Alrighty guys, well this is pretty much it for today's video. I really, really hope that you enjoyed it. It was very long to film, but I actually really, really enjoyed filming this video. I don't know, I kind of liked like these side-by-side -side comparison videos because it just puts things in perspective. So I really, really enjoyed making today's video. So as always, if you haven't done so already, please, don't forget to subscribe. Also, please don't forget to give this video a big old thumbs up to let me know that you like it. And this is pretty much it. I love you guys and I will see you in my next one. Bye.